if you sit on top of one, then it's cool. And I'm going to teach you how to do hands-on equations. This equals a neg This equals a positive. This red cube equals a positive number. This green cube equals a negative number. This equals x, and the white one equals opposite of x. The problem I'm going to be teaching you is how to do is 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 7. This is how it's set up. So we have 4x over here, and then there's a positive 3, and then 2x over here, and positive 7. So we're going to take away a blue pawn, two blue pawns from each side, like that. And then to get rid of this number, we have to put a negative, a negative 3. Oops. Negative 3 on both sides. So, and then this is pairs zero, so we can take that away. So 7 minus 7 plus negative 3 is positive 4. So, and this would eat these equal to each because 2 plus 2 equals 4. So, so x would equal 1. The next problem I'm going to be teaching you is negative 3x plus 2 equals negative 10 plus x. This is how it's set up. We have negative 3x right there, and then we have positive 2, and then a negative 10, and then an x. Okay, to get rid of this blue pawn on this side, because we need to get rid of that, we have to add a white pawn to both sides, and then we take this one away, because there's a pair of zero, and now we need to get rid of this red 2, or positive 2. So we have to add a negative 2 to both sides. And then so we take that away. And then so now we have 12. So now we, so these each white pawns equals negative 3. So the answer is x equals negative 3. The next problem I'm going to be teaching you is negative 3x plus 5 plus x equals 2x plus negative. This is how it's set up. This is negative 3x plus positive 5 plus x. And then here's 2x plus negative 3. Okay, t we need to get rid of these blue pawns right here. So we have to take them both from each side so it's equal. And then we have to get rid of this pawn. So we have to add a white to both sides. And then we take this away. And to get rid of this 5, we have to add a, a negative 5 to each side. So we have to add 5 and 5. And then we take these away. And then together, this is negative 8. And then this is, um, and then each of these equals 2. So this, so x equals negative 2. Thanks for watching.